I'm John Gomez, the president and founder of Gomez Trial Attorneys. We practice primarily in personal injury, wrongful death. We also have a pretty significant presence in uh, litigating uh, pharmaceutical cases and medical device cases and class action cases. I was raised by a single mom and we didn't have a lot of money. And so we would sometimes have to move if we kind of ran out of money, got evicted, or maybe she would get into a relationship. And so we go like move to be with, you know, uh, that person. And then that relationship would end maybe, and then we would move again. So yeah, there was a bit of instability growing up. I didn't mind that much kind of moving around. You know, I, I was fairly adaptable and I played sports, so, you know, I would go from sort of one team to another team. And I guess, you know, like at the time it's hard, but I always landed on my feet, so. And I think it served me well, you know, for life today. I got to meet a lot of different people and, you know, get used to new surroundings. I didn't really know any lawyers growing up. Um, I went all the way through college and I just had a roommate that I met through working out um, who was actually in law school. And so I kind of like saw what was going on with him and um, basically his life inspired me to take the LSAT and do well and eventually go to law school. Initially, I committed to Harvard because my friend, the same friend told me Harvard was the best and um, I didn't know they ranked the schools at the time. I just was that naive. And I ran into a guy at USD and he had like a ranking like US News and World Report. And I go, hey, can I look at that? And Yale was number one. And I've been admitted to Yale. And um, Harvard at the time was like six. So I reneged on Harvard and went to Yale. I worked for a federal judge who's still on the bench, uh, Judge Marilyn Huff. Right from there, I went to Latham & Watkins in Los Angeles. After Latham & Watkins, I actually came back down to San Diego to work at the U.S. Attorney's Office because I wanted to try cases. And so I tried cases as a prosecutor for about four years or five years um, until it became uh, just not that uh, satisfying to me. You know, I, I liked it because I got to try a lot of cases and I did well, but um, I wasn't terribly fulfilled. I thought I'd become a pretty good trial lawyer, but I wanted to work for the little guy, like more aligned with my values. My strategy when I first went out is pretty much the same strategy and mindset that I have today. Um, and that is um, that we'll just try any case, you know, that we believe um, needs trying. You know, and we're essentially sort of fearless about that. You know, we have a sort of single purpose mentality, like in terms of our, you know, who we are, how we identify ourselves, you know, how we brand. It's uh, lawyers that will try cases. If I lose a few trials now, if we're not doing as well financially as you know I would hope. Um, you know I've gotten to a point where I don't internalize all that. In the old days, and I think a lot of trawlers are like this. You know, you I would I really take next to no credit for anything good. You know that happens. Like if we win a trial, I don't feel like oh I was great. You know I just feel like okay you know that's case should have been won. You know, but if something goes wrong, you know, you blame yourself a thousand percent and you start doubting yourself. And so I've learned, you know, over time that um, it's just better to just focus on simple, important things, you know. Um, and so that's how I get through. I think you have to be really careful, very vigilant in this field, especially if you have success early you know, which happened to me like pretty much right when I started becoming a plaintiff's lawyer, I was having a lot of success right away. And it can do a lot of things. It can, um, I think, cause you to be overly impressed with yourself, you know, which probably happened to me for a while. Um, you, you have this 
you know, essentially unlimited money, you know, to do anything you want. And you can become very self-indulgent in your conduct and behaviors, you know, that in the long term is going to be probably harmful to you and people around you. Um, and those times are not going to last. I mean, there, there's going to be ups and downs. There's every, you know, trial lawyer is on top of the world for a while, and then they're not so on top of the world. But you, the first few times it happens, you think it's going to be just like that forever. And, and I think you can, um, you know, it's just something to be careful about. I think we tend to internalize everything that happens in our profession, you know, starts and begins with, with me, the lawyer. And so when things don't go well, you think that you, the lawyer, has some problem or um, deficit. And, you know, I, I've come to a point where I know that's just not true, you know, that without question, if I just keep, you know, doing the right thing and keep to my core sort of vision, um, then over time, things are going to work out pretty well for me. Um, and, and a lot of people go through that. A lot of people in this profession, you know, they're, they're trying to break through to the next level or, you know, they're trying to get their first million dollar verdict. You keep doing the very best you can. You keep learning and growing and you keep treating people well. Um, over time, you're going to have success. And, and success, you know, shouldn't be measured by looking at other people. If I've had my firm for 12 years, I just see like, you know, ebbs and flows. And so, um, you know, I feel like right now, you know, we just went through a little bit of a reorganization, you know, which has made us stronger and leaner. We have great lawyers here. Um, and I'm getting into some really exciting stuff, you know, some new litigation. I believe I'm a much better trial lawyer than when I started this. And um, I have zero doubt that the future is going to be great. It's not about the dollars and cents at the end of the case, it's really about uh, taking someone's confidence and trust uh, during their darkest time. So, you know, a family may have lost a family member, someone's been injured, can't support a family, and, got, and, and showing another human being that you care.